an Ethiopian Orthodox teaching a church to be a church should be enveloped by a forest. It should resemble the Garden of Eden. Hundred years ago, the highland was one big continuous forest. That big continuous forest has been eaten up by agriculture. It is a church who has protected this forest and who has safeguarded them from destruction. It's only because of the patronage and the blessing of the church this forest has survived. Church forests are always in my childhood memory. I used to go with my family for Sunday mass, for holidays. We have been always told that God gives mercy when you pray here. So the spiritual connectivity is so strong. The more I study them, the more I understand them, the more I see their problem, their importance, their significance, and then I end up being hooked <laughs> with this forest, you know. ያዘበየስ <laughs> Sewot ugan evala chuan evala chuan ya iyalo kunno su thallo kusya sewot tha tha kya tanna denu kanti wanal na atu betan tha tani ita Christiana chun swan khata chun raswan tha thalle chuk. The idea of making a wall to conserve the forest came from the church itself. If you see the rural church, they have a wall to protect the inner circle, which people think that's the most sacred place. So let's move that wall to the outside and include the forest as part of the church itself. We are making a barrier, not excluding humans, a barrier against cattle grazing, so that regeneration and the health of the forest can be sustained. The church has been protecting the forest for centuries. But the forest in turn has been in a guardian. It was a kind of mutual benefiting. The church itself were built from this forest. The inner wall of the church has been painted and all those pictures, scriptures and murals were made out of tree, leaves, roots, barks and flowers. 
800, 700, even 1,000 years ago. They are living by one another. They are embedded to one another. The church is within the forest. The forest is inside the church. In ecological term, the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. There are millions of other creatures. There is so complicated, sophisticated interaction you cannot explain. Because of the coexistence, there is what we call emergent property. It's a new hybrid character. The mystery is to think beyond what we see. There is a problem always, a misperception that this forest will stay forever. We don't have any other backup to safeguard the Ethiopian biodiversity. It is only the church forest. If we lose that, then that's all. We have a lot of people who are not able to do this. We have a lot of people who are the biggest challenge is to open the eyes of the community to show up these forests are really disappearing. They think always they are there forever. The church forests are the blueprint. You can understand what kind of ecosystem, what kind of biodiversity, what kind of forest we had before. Everything is important and interlinked. So if you really care, we have to respect trees, the role of trees, and we have to learn to live with forests. We can bring back the landscape given that this church forest exists. That's my hope, that's my vision. <laughs>